Hi everyone, welcome to the API observability with Apache API 6 plugins video tutorial. My name is Bobur, I am a developer advocate. Today we can leverage the power of some observability plugins and take a look at how to set up these plugins, how to use them to understand API behavior, and later solve problems that impact our users. So let's get started. APIs, by now we are all familiar with the term. Every service we use today either uses an API or is an API itself. APIs are central in building and delivering your services. Also, you know that the success of your service depends on the integrity, availability and the performance of your APIs. Nowadays, API observability is already a part of every API development as it addresses many problems related to API consistency, reliability, and the ability to quickly iterate on new API features. API observability can help every team in your organization, let's say sales and growth teams to monitor your API usage, free trials or observe expansions opportunities or ensure that API serves the correct data. Engineering teams to monitor and troubleshoot API issues. Product teams to understand API usage and uh, it is business value. Security teams to detect and protect from API threats. We know that an API gateway offers a central control point for incoming traffic to a variety of destinations, but it can also be a central point for observation. Instead of spending time integrating your services with other many APIs and technologies to improve observability, you can easily manage all work with Apache API 6 plugins. Most observability platforms like Prometheus, Skywalking, Open Telemetry, and etc. provide pre-built connectors that you can easily integrate with Apache API 6. You can leverage these connectors to ingest log data from your API gateways to further drive useful metrics and gain complete visibility into the usage. And you can manage performance and security of your APIs in your own environment. The core of observability breaks down into three key areas structured logs, metrics, and traces. Let's break down each pillar of API observability and learn how, with Apache API 6 plugins, we can simplify these tasks and provide a solution that you can use better to understand your API usage. Logs are also easy to instrument and the trial step of API observability. It can be used to inspect API calls in real time for debugging, auditing and recording everything in time step and uh, events that happen at over time. Now, if you navigate the Apache API 6 official documentation under Docs, uh, go to Plugins section. As you can see, the full list on the official website all observability plugins. For now, for the demo purposes, let's choose a simple but mostly used HTTP logger plugin. That's uh, capable of sending API log data requests to HTTP and HTTPS servers or sends as a JSON objects to monitoring tools. Now there is no any server is up and running. We could you generate a mock HTTP server by using mockbin.org. Here you can create your mock server by run going to create the pass. In my case, I have already created one mock server as you can see. Welcome to hands-on lab Apache API 6 uh, up and running. For this demo, I prepared a special report on the, my GitHub. You can uh, go to API 6 Observability Plugins 
and uh, you can see there are some sample uh, doc on github page uh, where you can uh, follow the uh, three plugins example I have uh, demonstrating today like HTTP logger plugin, Zipkin or Prometheus uh, all these uh, command line code or the running results uh, can be also found now we can start to enable our HTTP logger plugin for our road we can just bring our command to adding the HTTP logger plugin with the following upstream ID we have upstream ID created we can assume that after we press and run the command you will get the following response from the API, API 6 server but uh, for the demo uh, we have uh, Apache API 6 is up and running and uh, I prepared uh, some uh, input or the if you go to the dashboard you can see uh, we have uh, created the route and then we can also see the configuration of this road uh, which is published already uh, with the default values and uh, the pass is get and I have our upstream also created that uh, has a bind to the road already how we can test it that the HTTP logger is working uh, next step we can just try to make a curl command for the pass we have slash get I can just copy the command and pass to the terminal if I run it the server is returning ok and now we can see also the HTTP logs are sent to our mock server on mock bin for the log, HTTP logger settings we put just the URA of log server I'm just reminding you that we have the mock server and in order to see the mock server logs you can do slash logs and then you see the output we have some logs present this logs or structure of logs how uh, they look like you can learn on our Apache APIs official website also how to run and set up uh, your API 6 uh, I have a guide or another video tutorial I will leave a references below metrics are numeric representation of data measured over intervals of time you can also aggregate this data into uh, let's say daily or weekly frequency and run uh, uh, many queries against a distributed system like Elasticsearch or sometimes based on the metrics you trigger alerts to take any action later on once API metrics are collected you can track them with a metrics tracking tool such as Prometheus Apache API 6 API Gateway also offers a Prometheus plugin to fetch your API metrics and expose them in uh, let's say Prometheus behind the scene Apache API 6 uh, downloads Grafana dashboard meta imports this metadata into Grafana and fetch real-time metrics from Prometheus plugin now we can jump into the terminal and try to enable the Prometheus plugin for the existing route just uh, copy and pasting following uh, curl command and our API 6 server responding as ok the follow up is the following response and then we can uh, test if Prometheus plugin enable it by running another curl command to get the, the Prometheus metrics it is under API 6 Prometheus slash metrics you can see some metrics already uh, visible you can also check the status of our endpoint at Prometheus dashboard by pointing to this URL 
Since the targets are not running inside the promise container, they cannot be accessed through localhost, although I'm using here docker internal. If you go to graph and search for API 6 HTTP status metrics name, you can see uh, some metrics that uh, our get uh, endpoint call it twice and some uh, other metrics data can be found directly. In addition to this, you can view Grafana dashboard running in your local instance. Go to localhost 3000 and then you will see the Grafana dashboard. Now we can uh, go uh, to manage and then choose uh, the API 6 dashboard. As you can see some internal metrics uh, including HTTP, requests and etcd modify indexes are reflected here that's about prometheus plugin as you can see how you can monitor your metrics with uh, apache PS metrics plugins you can also have a look node status plugin and the data log uh, try to customize and use uh, additional plugins next sort the pillar of api observability is tracing. Tracing or distributed tracing allows you to understand the life of uh, the, your request as it traverses your service network. Allows you to answer the questions like what service has this request touched and uh, how much latency was introduced. Traces enable you to uh, further explore which logs to look at for a particular session or related set of uh, API calls. Zipkin is an open source distributed tracing system. API 6 uh, Zipkin plugin is supported to collect tracing to Zipkin collector uh, based on, of course, uh, Zipkin API specification. Let's have a look how we can enable this plugin and uh, see some uh, traces. To enable the Zipkin plugin on the specified road, you can follow the, uh, the, the guide here and just copy the curl command and pass to the terminal and run enter. Here we go. Uh, now we enable the plugin, Zipkin plugin for the given road and then uh, as you can see that we are referring to the Zipkin endpoint to the following. In order to test it, how uh, which tracing we are getting, as you can see, we have some uh, the identifiers the Zipkin plugin provides. Identifiers like uh, we see a parent spent ID, a span ID, and a trace ID. Uh, if you go to the website, uh, Apache PS website in Zip, about Zipkin plugin, you can find more information like means uh, what means service name and service address for the plugin attributes. Besides the uh, Zipkin plugin, uh, you can also try to use Skywalking, another way of uh, integration for API tracing or open telemetry let's say for API 6 uh, API gateway also with Apache API 6 uh, you can develop uh, your plugin uh, if you go to plugin development guide there is documentation for developing plugin in Lua uh, but because as main programming language for plugin development in API 6 but if you wish to write uh, uh, develop plugin in other programming language you can refer to external plugins here is well described but how uh, external plugins configuration works or how you can uh, set up plugin runner for different programming languages that was all about observability plugins today and if you would like to join our growing community you can go to resources and the community page you can also subscribe to mailing list or join our Slack channel to be uh, aware of all these discussions. 
Also, you can follow up our upcoming events on the events page. Thank you for watching.